So this textbook section is stuffed to the gills. Um, there's a reason I only have one section planned for this week. So we've seen the double angle identities and we've seen the reduction formulas. Let's look at the half-angle formulas. And as has been the case a lot, um, there are going to be three of them. One for the sine, one for the cosine, one for the tangent. The half angle formulas have a difference, and that difference is that they have a plus or minus sign in them. So the sign of alpha divided by two is plus or minus one minus the cosine of alpha all divided by two. And before we go any further and put the cosine and the tangent up, let's talk about what this plus or minus is doing here. And you know, it's, it's sort of easy enough to, to answer that. A sign, can be positive or it can be a negative. On the other hand, a square root is always positive. So this plus or minus symbol here is to allow the right-hand side of this equality to be negative when the left-hand side of the equality is negative. Um, to see what I mean, let's talk about the sign of negative 15 degrees. So we can rewrite this as the sign of negative 30 degrees over 2. So when we plug and play, our alpha is going to be a negative 30. This is plus or minus the square root of one minus the cosine of negative 30 degrees, all divided by two. So plus or minus the square root of one minus, let me see, the cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of three over two, all divided by two. So that's plus or minus the square root of one half minus the square root of three divided by four. And if we plug this into a calculator, this is plus or minus. Let me pause the recording while I do that. 
So that's plus or minus 0 0.2588. And then you say, well, is the sign of negative 15 degrees positive or negative? And you think, well, negative 15 degrees is taking us into the fourth quadrant. The y coordinates here are negative. So the sign is negative. So you have to be a little careful with this plus or minus. Um, for any given number, it's going to be either positive or negative. Like with the sign of negative 15, we didn't wind up with an answer of plus or minus this number. We thought it through and we realized that we were looking for the negative answer. Um, and then we're going to have a formula for the cosine and a formula for the tangent. We're probably pretty used to this by now. So the cosine is plus or minus the square root of one plus the cosine of alpha over two. Let's find the cosine of negative 15 degrees. So 15 is 30 over two. So this is plus or minus the square root of one plus the cosine of negative 30 degrees all divided by two. So plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2 all divided by 2. So plus or minus the square root of 1 half plus the square root of 3 over 4, which, if we plug it into our calculator, and again, let me do that, is plus or minus 0 0.966. So again, this plus or minus symbol is different from like in the Pythagorean theorem. In the Pythagorean theorem, you're getting two answers. Here, you only get one answer. You have to decide, do we want a positive sign or a negative sign? And we think it through and we think, well, our angle is in the fourth quadrant. The x coordinate is positive. So we want a positive number here positive 0 0.966.
Uh, then finally, the um the tangent. And as always, the form to the for the tangent is messier than the other form to those. And those are the half angle formulas.